Muir faced three charges before the Western Plains Football League Tribunal, including one of striking a goal umpire. He was found guilty of all three. Peter Donegan went to Cressy last night for the hearing. It was a fairly unlikely setting for a player's career to hang in the balance, an almost deserted Cressy football ground in Western Victoria. But inside the club rooms, in a closed hearing, that was exactly the scenario facing Robbie Muir. A man, of course, whose name is almost synonymous with controversy. In just 68 games for St Kilda, he faced 12 charges, was found guilty nine times, suspended for a total of 22 matches, and gave umpire Kevin Smith a moment he's never likely to forget. But last night, Muir faced two charges of striking players from Carnham Linton in last Saturday's match against his team, Illibarook. More seriously, he faced a charge of striking a goal umpire, as did his playing coach Robert Biggs. That match was called off in the third quarter. From outside the room, it was nigh on impossible to glean anything, apart from the fact that Muir and his entourage must have been getting dizzy walking in and out of adjoining rooms. The umpires were the first to be excused. No comment, gentlemen. No comment. And at quarter past 11, after a marathon hearing lasting three and a quarter hours, all parties emerged, and the news wasn't good for either player. Robert Biggs is disqualified until the end of uh, 1994 and five weeks into 1995. Robert Muir is disqualified till the end of 1994. Subsequently, it was an angry Robert Muir who emerged from the hearing. Did they give you a fair hearing? No. Kangaroo court, mate. And it appears the sentence means he's played his last game. You sort of sit down and reconsider your future tonight now, mate, and, you know, make a decision in the morning uh, well, after you've all come down or... What, 40 years of age, and then she's over, mate. Yeah. No worries, thanks very much. Thanks, Robert. That's right, mate. Peter Donegan, 10 Eyewitness News. The turbulent playing career of 39-year-old Robert Muir finally ended in the football club rooms of the little Western District farming community of Cressy last night. He was there to answer two charges. I've given a player a head-eye tackle and uh, one of the other players ran in and spat me face so I punched him between the eyes, which I think anyone would do. The second charge involving a part-time goal umpire has left Muir hopping mad. A brawl erupted when the goal umpire signalled what the Illibrook players thought to be a goal are behind. Our coach uh, threw the ball at him and the goal umpire started throwing punches and there was about, well, would have been eight, nine other players involved, spectators. And because I didn't see a white coat, I thought he was a spectator, so I ran into, what's well, a natural thing, you run in to help your coach out. He was, getting, you know, he was getting punched around, so I ran and grabbed him and ran him into the fence. He was found guilty and outed till the end of next year. Tribunals have been a part of Robert Muir's football career. He played just 68 games in eight seasons with the Saints, missing 22 through suspension. Today, Muir was still staggered as to the way the tribunal in Cressy was conducted. Carl Linton turned up with 17 players from the senior side, and there was a police there with guns on the hips, and apparently they had a bloody dog in the back of the police van. With his playing career finished, what now? I'm 39 years of age, they give me two years, it'll make me 41, so looks like I'll have to take up umpiring or something, I think. That's the only option, is it? Well, it's either that or yeah, play netball, I suppose.